It's that time again. It's flying time. Hello from Newark Liberty International Airport's Terminal C. Today I'm flying on, or should I say, attempting to find the baggage drop counters for United Airlines so that I can fly the airline to Stockholm. After tagging my bag at a kiosk, dropping it off, and heading through security, I'm airside. Today I'm headed to gate C70 through 99. Today, I'm headed to gate C70 through 99, which United uses for both domestic and international flights. For a 35-year-old building, Terminal C feels oddly modern. I believe this is partially due to the architecture of the terminal and renovated restaurants and shop areas. Next to all departure boards are quite useful maps of Terminal C, which show the area that you are in. Passengers who have the United app can access interactive maps of all United hub airports as well as some of United destination airports, such as Munich, Stockholm, or Frankfurt. On this particular day that I was flying, Newark Airport was an absolute mess. You see, in the three days leading up to the day that I flew, there were numerous large weather systems producing severe thunderstorms that were making their way across the United States. These storms were wreaking havoc at numerous airports and airlines. One airline and airport especially impacted by these storms was Newark Airport, and specifically United Airlines. Between June 24th and 27th, 2023, United had cancelled nearly 50%, around 350 flights, departing out of Newark. Some of these were unlucky with cancellations, while others received major flight delays. To make matters worse, United was having trouble repositioning its cabin crew and its much-needed pilots from cancelled flights between cities to flights that needed crew. This only furthered cancellations and flight delays. This line of people that I am walking by is not for a boarding flight, but for United customer service. These are passengers who have been stuck in Newark Airport, some of them for days, waiting to get rebooked onto another flight after having theirs cancelled. Here at gate C94 is my flight to Stockholm. This United Boeing 757-200, registered November 14102, was delivered new to Continental Airlines in June of 1994. When the airline merged with United in 2010, so too did this 757, flying in United's now outdated Continental Globe livery. In late 2019, this aircraft was repainted into a special livery which showcases New York and New Jersey landmarks. This livery, designed by Corinne Antonelli, was one of two winners of United's Her Art Here art competition in 2019. This aircraft was 29 years old at the time I flew on it. While I wait for my flight to Stockholm to board, I decide to satisfy my sweet tooth cravings with this crunch bar. While plane spotting, I noticed that there are apparently birds that called Terminal C home. After a short half hour delay, my flight is boarding, or at least that's what everyone thinks. Yep, turns out United was having trouble finding a co-pilot for today's flight, and that the co-pilot was coming in on another United flight from Chicago, so our flight would be delayed for at least another two hours. Despite this, I'm not complaining, as United provided free snacks and water during the delay. The 757 that I'm flying on today is one that has its interior refurbished, with United Airlines putting in their larger, more comfortable new seats with larger IFE screens. Below the IFE screen, there is the standard United tray table. And leather seat back pocket. As for legroom, it's better than most European and American carriers, especially considering the fact that I'm flying on a narrow-body aircraft. Underneath each seat, there are shared power outlets. At each seat, there's a comfy blanket, 
and pillow, which can also act as a neck pillow. The headrests on the back of each seat are adjustable based on height. Given out shortly before pushback are the standard United earbuds. I've already reviewed United's IFE system before, which you can check out in this video. Here's our takeoff from runway 2 to right at Newark. While some aspects of this aircraft are modern, others, such as the overhead panels, are about as old as the 757 itself. United offers free Wi-Fi in the form of messaging to all passengers. However, T-Mobile customers flying on United flights with Wi-Fi are allowed one free hour long Wi-Fi session and four full flight sessions in which eligible T-Mobile customers have full access to the internet. Since I'm a T-Mobile customer, I get to take advantage of this deal. An hour and 30 minutes after takeoff, and dinner is served. Faced with a choice of chicken or stir-fry, I go for the stir-fry option. And boy, was it a good decision. This stir-fry dish consists of, well, stir-fry and a quinoa salad. Bread roll with butter. and chocolate cookie. As for drinks, I go for my usual when flying, tomato juice. While this meal is a bit on the smaller side, it is rather filling. An hour after dinner, the lovely flight attendants come around with a second drink service consisting of a small bottle of water and a hot drink of your choice. I go for coffee with milk, because, let's be honest, who needs to sleep on an 8-hour flight? Good morning somewhere over northern Scotland. Breakfast consists of the small tray of strawberry Greek yogurt and piece of biscotti. With breakfast, a hot or cold drink is offered. I go for some coffee with milk, because I'm attempting to stay up this entire time that I'm traveling to Europe. The best part about taking a flight to such a northern destination is the views. Flying over Norway and seeing the country's beautiful fjords and mountains from the air on a clear day really is quite the treat. In terms of service on transatlantic flights, United really blows most other airlines right out of the water. From giving passengers an entire can of the drink that they ask for, to being able to order free snacks and drinks at any time on transatlantic flights, to having modern, expansive IFE systems, United really has it all. With that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and comment down below. I'm always open to suggestions. 
Anyways, see you in the next video.